is up everybody? I am N.Divine83. This is the N.Divine 6K build off, third round results, fourth round rules, and due date. I already did a live video for this um, particular part, but I wanted to get a pre recorded done so I can get it over on Instagram and something just a little shorter. So we have our winners already. I have the points for this video. I'm going to post the, the picture of the winners, coil, and the points somewhere around here as it goes along. Um, the protege, I did adjust the points based on the curve. I just gave every, um, some people didn't have, to, or there was no 10 points, so I raised all the points up to one. Based on a curve, it doesn't change anything because everybody gets one extra point for their each of their things. So all of these builds are judged on from the whole build off are cleanliness, the install, the creativity level, the difficulty level, and overall looks. I give 10 points for each of these subjects. All right. So the protege, I'm going to go through and give you all the winners. And at the end of the video, I'm going to post who didn't win, what their points were, what they got points taken off. But once again, I did a live video and I kind of went in depth with my choices on judging and who made it and who didn't and why. Okay, so first let's take a look at who won the protege. I'm going to start from the lowest score that made it to the highest score that made it to the next round. There were 10 builders in this round in each tier and only five make it along. So these are the ones in the protege that make it along and their points. All right, first off in the protege was Leono. He scored 38 points, seven points for cleanliness, eight points for install, seven points for creativity, seven points for difficulty, and nine points for overall looks. Great job, congratulations. Next up, we had a tie between two people with 40 points. That would be one of them, Matty Mac. He got eight for cleanliness, eight for install, eight for creativity, nine for difficulty, and seven for overall looks. Congratulations, good luck in the next round. And then we had Sean O'Garrity, also with 40 points, he got nine for cleanliness, eight for install, seven for creativity, eight for difficulty, and eight for overall looks. Next up, we have Cloudy869. He got 10 for cleanliness, he got eight for install, eight for creativity, nine for difficulty, and nine for overall looks. And the winner of this round in the protege was Vape Life 02 with 48 points. He got a couple tens here. He got a 10 for cleanliness, 10 for install, 9 for creativity, 10 for difficulty, and 9 for overall looks. All right, so all them builds are based on a curve system to the competitors that you have. All right, I'll post the other two builders in the protege at the end of the video, their points. And um, yeah, let's move on to the master. Their tier, we have our five builders chose. I'm going to give you them five builders that are moving on, uh, their points and what they got points for. We got builds by Talion with 42 points. He got nine for cleanliness, five for install, 10 for creativity, 10 for difficulty, and 10 for overall looks. All right, and then we had Call Me Mister, 43 points. He has nine for cleanliness, eight for install, nine for creativity, eight for difficulty, and nine for overall looks. Then we had K Panzer. He had a eight for cleanliness, a nine for install, a 9 for creativity, a 9 for difficulty, and a 10 for overall looks. He scored 45 points. All right, call me Mr. Scored 43. I don't know if I mentioned that. We had Slim Builds with a very, very good score. Uh, second in this, in this round, he got uh, a 10 for cleanliness, a 10 for install, a 9 for creativity, a 9 for difficulty, and a 10 for overall looks. He scored 48 points out of 50. And then, last but not least, who won this round for the Masters is Sugar Coils. He has got 10s across the board except for install. I gave him a 9, so he's got 10 for cleanliness, 
and 10 for creativity, difficulty, overall looks. Congratulations all of the builders for moving on to the next round. I'll post up the points for the other masters that didn't make it at the end. Once again, I did a live video. Check it out. I go in depth with all this stuff. So now, what is for the next round? The next round will be corrugated and indented coils. Just mix them two up, same rolls, either 22, 24, or 25 millimeter RDA. You're gonna be judged on the same way. I'm gonna want you to put it up on the same hashtag, ND6K, uh, put round four, put what tier you're in, and I also want you to include a coil build that you would like to be done in the next round. Just one coil build, so you put you know, you put um, ND6K, Master Tier, Round 4, Snake Spine, something. Just put whatever you would like to build in the last round. We're going to pick that randomly. Another thing in the last round is I'm going to join the builders and we'll, we'll do something cool. Like, you don't have to beat me if I'm even able to, <laughs> able to win against some of these fucking guys. It, but um, basically, if you score more points based on judging, then my points, then there will be an extra added bonus or something like that. This is going to be um, the second to last round. So this is probably, this is going to be five rounds altogether. All right, five rounds. So everybody, um, also, um, sponsors, anybody that wants to sponsor the builders that win, or not sponsor, but just throw in prizes, let me know. You don't have to send anything to me. You can send it directly to them. Whatever, just let me know. I am looking for sponsors. I mean, I could get prizes together and stuff, but it'd be really cool. It would get a lot of exposure. I mean, between YouTube and Instagram, there's about at least 2,000 people seeing each of these videos. And then you got all these great photographers. Any of these master guys are great photographers. So it probably w would be a great idea if, you know, you got something into their hands. I'm sure they would really appreciate it and would love to do pictures. Um, other than that, man, it is hard to eliminate people that have been putting in so much time to this build off, putting in your builds and following the rules and stuff. So everybody that participated, you did good. Like really nobody did bad. That's not why you eliminate people. It's to find a winner, right? And this won't be the last build off. So I thank you all for doing this. It's been a lot of fun and we still got two more rounds. So I hope you enjoy. Have a great day. The due date for this round is going to be next Saturday. So if today is the 25th, that would be the, I don't know, because that's a new month. Hold on. Builds will be due February 1st at midnight, February 1st. That's Saturday. So have them in before Sunday Eastern time. All right. So you'll have all Saturday to do it. Um, all of you should know what the next one is because I did the live video last night and told you. So once again, corrugate it, indent it, mix them two together, follow all the rules just like always, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.